Welcome back guys. So today we will be continuing combinational logic. So today we will be seeing canonical POS to canonical SOP form or the conversion of it. So how to do that. So I will explain this by the help of an example. So suppose we have a function like f a b c and it is like this. So first of all write this. This will be m0, m3, m4 and m5. Now I will just write the max terms of all of it so so I written the max terms of it now the complement of the function of this function will be f bar a comma b comma c and that must be the all the missing terms that are not here so these are the missing terms so now therefore we'll write like this this will be m1 m2 m6 and m7 and I'll add the what the max terms of all of it again. So this will be a plus b c bar. So I've written all the max terms of it. Now uh, the complement function will be just the uh, bar of it. So by applying De Morgan's theorem, applying De Morgan's theorem, we'll get the final output which you want. So We'll just like first of all we'll we'll do this and what will happen? It will be something like this. We know how it works. Now we'll just simply do the calculation part of it. So that is pretty simple. So now on just doing this again applying this will be again De Morgan's law so it will be what a b c this will be a bar b c bar this will be a b c this will be a b c and this we can say is m1 this is m2 and this is m6 and this is m7 and finally we see we have converted this so now we'll see a, like the general statement or the general formula for it this is the mj bar and this is the this is the max term here and this is the min term m is the max term small m is the min term j here is from 0 1 2 up till to the power n minus 1 so this is how you do it, so thanks for watching it.